Race is on the course. This is event number 25. The Men's Masters 4 is coming through. Bow number one, pushing hard. The Club Nautico to San Juan, bringing the finest rowing tradition in San Juan, Puerto Rico to the head of the Charles. Once again, looking strong, moving fast, and looking to keep that number one position in this race this year with tons of open water between them and the next bow. I will not say curvature of the earth yet, but right now, these guys are going fast. And approaching now is bow number two, Ex Nemo. Mostly Harvard alum, mostly old guys. They wrote themselves, I did not say that. Beat, Beat you! Yale. Woo, we've got some passing on the inside. Bound number four. This is the Minneapolis Rowing Club from the Twin Cities in Minnesota, putting on a strong course and a push right through. Already passed bound number three. Bound number three on the Boston side, Potomac from Washington, Virginia. Potomac was founded in 1869. It's the oldest club in the rowing club in the Washington, D.C. area. Sister club, go Potomac. Rushing. Yeah. I know. They're really far ahead. Holy crap. Six. 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 And here is bow number six, Chicago from Chicago, Illinois. The 2024 Masters Nationals Champ Four, and they are looking like it right now. Go bow number six. They were the champs in the four without, but you certainly are not doing a four without on this course. So good luck, Coxon, making that fast crew go faster. We've got bow number five in front of Riverside right now. Western Reserve out of Cleveland, Ohio. This is your Masters men. And holding a tight course here in bow number seven from Great Britain is Rex Boat Club. Finished seventh in the Head of the Charles in last year's event. Welcome to the Head of the Charles. Already looking good, looking to move up. Bow number seven. Woo, a tight line. This is tight, hot, and awesome unis. Bow number eight. This is Tyrion out of London. The University of London alum, always flashy, always looking good in their trow. <laughs> she loves it. She I know. What is this? Bow nine. nine. And bow number nine, CRI. The locals. From right up the river. This is your competitive men, 40 plus four. Got locals who know the river here, row it every day, every morning. This is bow number 11, London Rowing Club. This is the London Rowing Club Masters. Long journey over to lay it down on the course today. Looking good. Bow number 10, PNRA Mercer. This is the Prince Injunction, New Jersey Mercer boat. Mercer crossing in front of the boat club right now. Bow number 10. So far, all these boats that we've announced over the last 30 or so seconds, they have good, good spacing, good opportunity to pick a course. Oh, on the inside, we've got bow number 13. The locals from Union making a move on the inside. On the Boston side of the river, you've got bow number 10. This is your crew from China. That's bow number 12 on the outside, all the way from China. Welcome. That's the Bumblebee crew. They're excited to be back. Bow number 14, also putting a strong move with a nice line on the inside. That's Pacific out of San Francisco. They're rowing the seas of cheese. Not sure I know what that means, but they're looking very strong. Joyce, what do you think the seas of cheese means? Mm, let's see. They're from San Francisco. I have no idea. I would have got it <laughs> if it was chocolate, but not cheese. If it was Ghirardelli chocolate, completely understand. But C's of cheese, no. Oh, C's is chocolate in San Francisco. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe that's it? Not sure I get that either. They get chocolate when they're done? Chocolate and beer and wine? I don't know. Here we go. 15. Want me to do it? Yeah. And here we have bow number 15, Avalon from Chiquitig, Virginia. Their theme is consistent. Hi, Mom. And pushing hard. 
from behind, bow number 17. That's Sammamish Rowing Association out of Redmond, Washington. Picking a tight line and putting a push right now on bow 15. And in front of Riverside right now is bow number 16, Buffalo River Rowing Club from Buffalo, New York. It's the Rowing Club Masters team. We train on the curvy Buffalo River, taking 90 degree turns around the historic silos. Joyce, is this bow number 19 right now pushing from the back? The Wisco alums out of Middleton, Wisconsin. This crew comprises alumni of the University of Wisco men's rowing team. Joe and Max were members of the 2008 IRA National Champs. Three are Eastern Sprints champs and two are Eastern Sprints bronze medalists. 18. Strong crew. On the Boston side of the river, we have bow number 18, East Bay Rowing from Barrington, Rhode Island. They're a nonprofit rowing club based in Barrington. And on the inside, we've got bow number uh, 20. That's Fairmont from Philadelphia. And they are looking for redemption. So far, looking good on the course as well. And we have bow number 21 approaching Riverside, Rose City. For those of you who don't know, that's uh, Portland, Oregon is the Rose City. A bunch of old junior alumni from Portland, Oregon. Go Rose City. 22. And then approaching Riverside, the black hull and the nicely painted blades, bow number 22, Potomac out of Washington. Potomac Boat Club, founded in 1869, is the oldest rowing club in the Washington, D.C. area. Got that telltale star on the red blades for Potomac. That concludes event number 25, the Men's Masters Fours. Next on the course is going to be event number 26, at 11.38 a.m., the men's alumni force. Course record was set in 22 by the Delaware men's alumni. Last year's results were number one, BMA A, number two, Bowdoin A, and number three, Friends of Vanderbilt. There's 23 competitors in this event. I will get to reading about this event in just a moment, but I would like to call attention to the fact that there is a wedding going on on the dock. On the dock of Riverside, a wedding from a rowing gentleman and his coxswain he met seven years ago. Mr. There is love in rowing. Mr. Mike Feldman and Miss Sarah Finkel. Congratulations. We've got the race on the course. This is bow number one and event number 26, BMA. You got your defending champs from last year, the Cornell alumni who are slicing up clean water on their way to trying to defend. And now approaching is bow number two from Bowdoin from Brunswick, Maine, the Bowdoin College Rowing Alumni. Giving some nice backdrop to the wedding, some lovely crews going by. Bow number three about approaching Riverside Boat Club. This is the friends of Vanderbilt, Connor Goodrich, class of 23. John Micey, law class of 23. Jason Garrett, three seat, Daniel Ingber, and Justin Stevens, very decorated rowers, and coxswain in bow number three. And back to the wedding, I hope the groom has something to read because the bride looks like she's reading a novel, so I hope he has a, something to say. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Mike. Well, <laughs> Way to go, coxswain. Bow number four, the Purple Calf Boat Club out of Hamilton Falls, New Hampshire. That's the Williams class alum, 23 and 24. And overtaking them on the inside is Belmont Hill from Belmont, Mass. It's a Charles River alumni crew who know this course like no other, and they're showing it. Approaching Riverside, bow number six. This is the MRA alumni out of Ann Arbor, Michigan, second varsity privilege. And bow number seven, another evergreen crew from Hanover, New Hampshire.
I'm having a big one. Michelle, get paid one hundred dollars. Approaching Riverside. This is bow number eight. Bowden, the Bowden College Rowing alumni.